Mr. Durbin? Mr. Durbin? Aye. Conrad, Mr. Conrad? Aye. Are there any senators wishing to vote or change the vote? If not, on this vote, the yeas are 88, the nays are 11. Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the adoption of this amendment, the amendment is uh, not agreed to. It's agreed to. It's agreed to. It's agreed to. Mr. President. Senator from Georgia. Mr. President, Let's have like order in the Senate. So order come, Senate will come to order. Mr. President, I'd like to call up Chambliss Amendment number two, three, uh, 2438, please. Clerk will report. The Senator from Georgia, Mr. Chambliss, proposes amendment number 2438. Mr. President, this amendment will require those that receive crop insurance protection from the federal government to now follow conservation compliance laws. Conservation compliance was enacted as a part of the 1985 Farm Bill and has contributed almost single-handedly to almost three decades of progress in limiting erosion, cleaning up waterways, and protecting wetlands. And for those of us who love and fish to love to fish and hunt, that has been of critical importance. No other program has done more for protecting our farmland and topsoil than conservation compliance. In 1996, Congress exempted crop insurance from the conservation requirement. Back then, the reason for doing so was to increase participation in the crop insurance program, and that's exactly what we've seen. We've seen premium subsidies increase by 500 percent. The Farm Bill we're debating now will incentivize farmers to move from Title I programs to crop insurance. And as a result, soil and wetland conservation will not be a policy priority, and it should be. This shift will likely adversely impact soil conservation without this amendment. If crop insurance is going Sorry. to be the preferred safety net, then farmers also need to make sure that the program doesn't incentivize farmers to eliminate the gains we've made in the last 25 years, and I urge adoption of the amendment. Who yields time? Mr. President. Senator from Kansas. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to speak in opposition to my friend and colleague's amendment, the battle cry for conservation, uh, compliance requirements to be attached to crop insurance seems, strangely, to assume that conservation compliance is somehow eliminated in commodity programs in this new bill. This is not true. Uh, conservation compliance is attached to the new farm revenue program in Title I of the bill. Conservation compliance is also attached to the marketing loan program. To duplicate the same requirements in crop insurance is wasteful of government resources. Taxpayer dollars will cause a lot more paperwork. When your farmers find out that you're wasting taxpayer dollars and are in charge of a duplicative effort and making them fill out more paperwork, you will have to hide in your office four weeks. Don't hide in your office for four weeks. Vote no. Amen. <laughs> the question is on the amendment. Uh, the yeas and nays have been asked for. Is there a sufficient second? There is. Appears to be. Court will call the roll. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Alexander, Ms. Ayotte, Mr. Barrasso, Mr. Baucus, Mr. Begich, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Blumenthal. 
Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. Mr. Casey. Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn. Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo, Mr. Dement, Mr. Durbin, Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley. You got me? Mrs. Hagen. Mr. Harkin. Mr. Hatch. Mr. Heller. Mr. Hoven. Mrs. Hutchison. Mr. Inhofe. Mr. Inouye. Mr. Isaacson. Mr. Johans. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin. Mr. Johnson of South Dakota. Mr. Carey. Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Cole, Mr. Kyle, Ms. Landrew, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, 
Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Mr. Lieberman. Mr. Luger. Mr. Manchin. Mr. McKean. Mrs. McCaskill. Mr. McConnell. Mr. Menendez. Mr. Merkley. Ms. Mikulski. Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, Mr. Reed of Nevada. Mr. Risch, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Sessions, Mrs. Shaheen, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Snow, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall, Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, Mr. Vitter, Mr. Warner, Mr. Webb, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden. Senators voting in the affirmative. Bingaman, Bozeman, Boxer, Brown of Massachusetts, Brown of Ohio, Burr, Casey, Chambliss, Collins, Coons, Feinstein, Franken, Graham, Hagen, Hatch, Isaacson, Johnson of South Dakota, Klobuchar, Cole, Kyle, Landrew, Lautenberg, Leahy, Manchin, Menendez, Merkley, Mikulski, Murkowski, Cryer, Reed of Rhode Island, Reed of Nevada, Rockefeller, Sanders, Schumer, Shaheen, Tester, Warner, Webb, White House. Mr. Inouye, aye. Senators voting in the negative. Akaka, Alexander, Ayat, Barrasso, Begich, Blumenthal, Blunt, Coates, Coburn, Cochran, Conrad, Corker, Cornyn, Crapo, DeMint, Gillibrand, Hutchison, Inhofe, Johans, Carey, Lee, Lieberman, Luger, McCain, McCaskill, Moran, Murray, Nelson of Nebraska, Paul, Portman, Roberts, Sessions, Finn. Mr. Grassley, Mr. Grassley, no. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Shelby, no. Ms. Snow, Ms. Snow, aye. Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, no. Mr. Enzi.
Mr. Enzi. No, Mr. Wyden. Mr. Wyden. Aye, Mr. Cardin. Mr. Cardin. Aye, Mr. Udall. Mr. Udall of New Mexico. Aye. Mr. Rubio. Mr. Rubio. Aye. Mr. Risch. Mr. Risch. No. Mr. Carper. Mr. Carper. Aye. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett. Aye. Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson of Florida. No. Mr. Harkin. Mr. Harkin. Aye. Mr. Heller. Mr. Heller. No. Mr. Durbin. Mr. Durbin. Aye. Mr. Levin. Mr. Levin. Aye. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Baucus. No. Mr. Toomey. Mr. Toomey. No. Ms. Cantwell. Ms. Cantwell. No. Mr. Udall of Colorado, no. Mr. Carey, Mr. Carey, I. Mr. Vitter, Mr. Vitter, no. Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wicker, no. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Lieberman. Ms. Stabenow, Ms. Stabenow, no. 
Mr. McConnell. Mr. McConnell, no. Mr. Hoven, Mr. Hoven, no. Any senators wishing to vote or change the vote? If not, on this amendment, the yeas are 52, the nays are 47, the amendment is agreed to. Senator from South Dakota. Mr. President, I call up amendment number 2437. Clerk will report. The Senator from South Dakota, Mr. Thune, proposes an amendment number 2437. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the reading of the amendment be dispensed with. Mr. President, in, in, in the years... Senate will be in order. Mr. President, in the years 1994 to 2003, the United States Congress appropriated over $36 billion in ad hoc or emergency assistance for farmers and ranchers across this country above and beyond the normal farm program payments. Let me say that again, $36 billion in the 10-year period between 1994 and 2003 above and beyond normal farm program payments. Since the emergence of the crop insurance program, we have seen those disaster ad hoc emergency bills go away. Now, the, the crop insurance program is the centerpiece of this farm policy. That's what the entire, this entire farm bill is built around. It's what farmers and producers in this country said that they wanted. There's going to be an amendment offered by our colleagues, uh, Senators Durbin and Coburn, that would limit the availability of that to people who, age, who have adjusted gross incomes under $750,000. What I would say to that, Mr. President, is that amendment, the amendment I'm offering, is not about those who are making more than $750,000. It's about those who make less, whose premiums would go up as a result of that change. We need a good, strong crop insurance program for the farmers in this country. That's what this farm bill is built upon. We shouldn't take any chances with it. Mr. President. Right. Senator from Illinois. Yeah. Mr. President, this is a good farm bill. It eliminates direct payments and a lot of subsidies. But there's one aspect of federal subsidy in this bill that goes untouched. It is the federal subsidy from our Treasury to pay for the crop insurance premiums. 62%, the GAO tells us, of crop insurance premiums are paid for by taxpayers, which means that those who are using crop insurance are really relying on the Treasury. So Senator Coburn and I, a political odd couple, I will admit, said for at least those making over $750,000 a year, we're going to trim the federal subsidy by 15%. How many farmers would be affected by this nationwide? 1,500 farmers, 
out of 1.5 million. The Thune Amendment says you cannot reduce this subsidy, even though it saves us a billion dollars. You can't reduce this subsidy, in his language, if it adds any administrative expenses. So if it costs one dollar to even figure out who the 1,500 farmers are, no way we're going to save a billion. Vote against Thune, a vote against the Thune Amendment, and then vote for Durbin Coburn. Voting for both doesn't get Senator's the time has expired. President, I ask unanimous consent to be able to respond to the senator from Illinois' comments. Is there objection? No times remaining. Is there objection? Is there objection? We have objection is heard. Question is on the amendment. I ask for the A's and A's. Is there a sufficient second? Mr. Mr. President, I, I would support the yeas and nays and just strongly urge a yes vote on the soon amendment. Uh, Mr. President, is there I'll, sufficient? Uh, Mr. President, I also support the uh, the yeas and nays and uh, stand with the chairwoman and Senator Thune. Is there a sufficient second? There is a, appears to be a sufficient second. Clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Alexander. Ms. Ayotte. Too bad I don't put on my weight. <laughs> I'll be doing it all day. Mr. Barrasso. Oh, my God. You better be too. Mr. Baucus. Mr. Baggage. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bingaman. Mr. Blumenthal. Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin, Mr. Carver, Mr. Casey, Mr. Chambliss, Mr. Coates, Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran, Ms. Collins, Mr. Conrad, Mr. Coons, Mr. Corker, Mr. Cornyn, Mr. Crapo, Mr. Dement. Mr. Durbin, Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein. Mr. Franken.
Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin, Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heller, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hutchison, Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inouye, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Carey, Mr. Carey, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Cole, Mr. Kyle, Ms. Landrieu, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Levin, Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Luger, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, Mr. Reed of Nevada, Mr. Risch, Mr. Roberts, Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Sessions, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Snow, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Tester, Mr. Thune, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, Mr. Vitter, Mr. Warner, Mr. Webb, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden, Senators voting in the affirmative. Alexander, Barrasso, Baucus, Chambliss, Collins, Cornyn, Crapo, Enzi, Gillibrand, Hagen, Heller, Hoven, Inhofe, Isaacson, Johans, Johnson of South Dakota, Klobuchar, Landrieu, Leahy, Luger, Moran, Nelson of Nebraska, Nelson of Florida, Risch, Roberts, Sanders, Stabenow, Tester, Thune, Bitter, Wicker. Mr. McConnell, aye.
Senators voting in the negative. Akaka, Ayotte, Bingaman, Bozeman, Brown of Massachusetts, Brown of Ohio, Burr, Cantwell, Cardin, Carper, Coburn, Conrad, Corker, DeMint, Durbin, Franken, Harkin, Inouye, Carey, Cole, Lautenberg, Lee, Levin, Manchin, McCain, Merkley, Hall, Reed of Rhode Island, Rockefeller, Shaheen, Toomey, Udall of Colorado, Warner. Mr. Webb, Mr. Webb, no. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, no. Mr. Cochran, Mr. Cochran, no. Mr. Wyden, Mr. Wyden, no. Mr. Pryor, Mr. Pryor, no. Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bennett, no. No. Mr. Grassley, Mr. Grassley, no. Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Lieberman, no. Mr. Hatch, Mr. Hatch, aye. Mr. Sessions, Mr. Sessions, no. Mr. Blunt, Mr. Blunt, aye. Mr. Coons, Mr. Coons, no. Ms. Snow, Ms. Snow, aye. Mr. Graham, Mr. Graham, no. Ms. Murkowski, Ms. Murkowski, aye. Mrs. Murray, Mrs. Murray, no. Mr. Kyle, Mr. Kyle, no. Ms. Mikulski, Ms. Mikulski, no. Mr. Menendez, Mr. Menendez, no. Mr. Rubio, Mr. Rubio, no. Mrs. Boxer, Mrs. Boxer, no. Mr. Portman, Mr. Portman, no. Mrs. Hutchison, Mrs. Hutchison, aye. Mr. Shelby, Mr. Shelby, aye. Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Whitehouse, no. Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blumenthal, no. Mrs. Feinstein, Mrs. Feinstein, aye. Mrs. McCaskill, Mrs. McCaskill, aye.
Baucus. Mr. Baucus, no. Udall of New Mexico, no. Mr. Coates, Mr. Coates, aye. Mr. Casey, Mr. Casey, aye. Mr. Reed of Nevada, Mr. Reed of Nevada, aye. Mr. Schumer, Mr. Schumer, aye. Mr. Begich, Mr. Begich, aye. 
Are there any senators in the chamber wishing to vote or to change their vote? If not, on this vote, the ayes are 44, the nays are 55. The amendment is not agreed to. Mr. President. The Senator from Oklahoma. I call up amendment. The Senate will be in order. 2439. The clerk will report. The Senator from Oklahoma, Mr. Coburn, for Mr. Durbin and himself, proposes amendment number 2439. Who yields time? Mr. President. Can Senator we have, from Oklahoma. We have order. The Senate will be in order. Please take your conversations out of the well. This is an amendment that both Senator Durbin and I have offered. It's not nearly as severe as what the GAO recommendation was for this program. The very wealthiest of farmers in terms of income in this country are the people most likely to buy less crop insurance, not more, and yet we subsidize them at the same rate as we do the middle income and lower income farmers. This is straightforward. If you want to save a billion dollars, if you want to tackle the debt, here's a way that will allow us to save a billion dollars and not put anybody at risk. Highly capitalized farmers don't insure at the same rate as lower capitalized farmers. And the very thought that we should, this will be the only prog program, if this amendment doesn't pass, that doesn't have a payment limitation on it in terms of adjusted gross income. So there, there should be no question that we should do this just in terms of fairness of all the sacrifices we're going to ask everybody else in this country to make in the coming years. This ought to be a part of this farm program. And I yield back. The Senator's time has expired. Who yields time? Mr. President. Senator from Kansas. Mr. President, in behalf of Chairwoman Stabenow, myself, Senator Thune and every farm organization and commodity group in America, I rise in opposition to this amendment. It will impact every single producer in the program, not those that exceed this arbitrary limit or rich uh, producers. Quote, the rest will pay higher premiums when they are out of the program because that's what happens with an insurance pool. I have no doubt, as, just as sure as I'm standing here, and the gentleman from Oklahoma is sitting there and contemplating there. I have no doubt that under this amendment, we will soon return to the days of low crop insurance participation, multi-billion dollar ad hoc disaster programs, just like the 1990s, $36 billion over 10 years, $11 billion in one year. Now, these are a disaster to, to plan, to legislate, to implement, uh, if you are for these ad hoc disaster programs, you better hide for six, at least for six weeks in your office. We just passed two where you're hiding for two and four. Now you're going to have to hide in your office for six weeks. The Don't hide in your office for six weeks. The oh, senator's no. time has expired. I ask you. Is there a sufficient second? There appears to be. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Akaka, Mr. Alexander, Ms. Ayotte, Mr. Barrasso, Mr. Baucus, Mr. Begich, Mr. Bennett, Mr. Bingaman, Mr. Blumenthal, Mr. Blunt. Mr. Bozeman. Mrs. Boxer. Mr. Brown of Massachusetts. Mr. Brown of Ohio. 
Mr. Burr. Ms. Cantwell. Mr. Cardin. Mr. Carper. <coughs> Mr. Casey. <coughs> Mr. Chambliss. Mr. Coates. Mr. Coburn, Mr. Cochran. Ms. Collins. Mr. Conrad. Mr. Coons. Mr. Corker. Mr. Cornyn. Mr. Crapo. Mr. Dement. Mr. Durbin, Mr. Enzi, Mrs. Feinstein, Mr. Franken, Mrs. Gillibrand, Mr. Graham, Mr. Grassley, Mrs. Hagen, Mr. Harkin. Mr. Hatch, Mr. Heller, Mr. Hoven, Mrs. Hutchison. Mr. Inhofe, Mr. Inouye, Mr. Isaacson, Mr. Johans, Mr. Johnson of Wisconsin, Mr. Johnson of South Dakota, Mr. Carey, Mr. Kirk, Ms. Klobuchar, Mr. Cole, Mr. Kyle, Ms. Landrew, Mr. Lautenberg, Mr. Leahy, Mr. Lee, Mr. Levin, Mr. Lieberman, Mr. Luger, Mr. Manchin, Mr. McCain, Mrs. McCaskill, Mr. McConnell, Mr. Menendez, Mr. Merkley, Ms. Mikulski, Mr. Moran, Ms. Murkowski, Mrs. Murray, Mr. Nelson of Nebraska, Mr. Nelson of Florida, Mr. Paul, Mr. Portman, Mr. Pryor, Mr. Reed of Rhode Island, Mr. Reed of Nevada. No. Mr. Rich. Mr. 
Mr. Roberts, Mr. Rockefeller, Mr. Rubio, Mr. Sanders, Mr. Schumer, Mr. Sessions, Mrs. Shaheen, Mr. Shelby, Ms. Snow, Ms. Stabenow, Mr. Chester, Mr. Thune, Mr. Toomey, Mr. Udall of Colorado, Mr. Udall of New Mexico, Mr. Vitter, Mr. Warner, Mr. Webb, Mr. Whitehouse, Mr. Wicker, Mr. Wyden, 